Hello and welcome back. In today's mini Minecraft tutorial, we're going to be continuing our bamboo farm and making it into an auto furnace that uses the bamboo as fuel. The first thing we're going to want to do is to add a chest at the end of this line of hoppers. I want to be able to open my chest, so we replace the white block with a glass block because glass is a transparent block and it will allow chests to open up. So I'm going to place a double chest right at the end of this line of hoppers. After that, I'm going to start building my furnace. I'm going to add a double chest for the cooked things to go into, and then a hopper coming out of the back of the chest. After that, I'm going to add a furnace on top of the hopper. I'm also going to add a hopper coming out of the top. And then I also need one coming out of the side. But we're going to do it on this side so it connects to the bamboo. And the next thing we're going to want to do is to add a chest on top of this hopper. And next to that, we're going to place a block and a lever. And this will allow us to control the whole system and turn it on and off. The next step is to connect our hoppers. There we go, and with our line of hoppers connected, we should be getting bamboo in the bottom section of the furnace. Now we're going to add something to cook, and this is chest up here. How about we cook some cobblestone to make stone? Add some cobblestone, and then it should drain into this hopper and turn on the furnace. If we want to stop that, all we have to do is turn off the lever, and then cobblestone will stop going into the hopper and the furnace. I like to put a sign on the top just to help me remember which way is on and which way is off. And then eventually this will turn off once it runs out of material to cook. And so that's how you make an automatic furnace from our bamboo farm. You just run a line of hoppers from a chest into the side of the furnace and then you feed material into the top of the furnace and out of the bottom will come the cooked material, the stone, in this case. I hope you enjoy this little mini Minecraft tutorial. Please feel free to leave comments down below and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.